guys, what's going on? Nathan 343 here. So I want to do some talk about some more DJ stuff. As you can see, our smoke machine puffing out the smoke there. It kind of looks like my uh, um, kind of looks like uh, someone smoking over there. But anyway, so um, I've got the smoke machine ready. As you can see. Um, those of you that are just starting out DJing, I know you probably can't see me right now, but we're going to use the Kenta FX for this demonstration. I'm going to move this. You all know I use the ADJ O clamps. I think most of my lights have those now. Uh, very simple. You just screw them on there. You can attach them in many different places on your truss. They make different sizes for different truss size poles. But uh, yeah, another thing with this smoke stuff. Smells amazing. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and I've got my Y splitter here uh, to make this easier. I use these Y splitters a lot. Uh, these uh, cables are on Amazon. Just type in uh, IC, hold on a second. Um, IC, I uh, feel like I'm gonna sneeze, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. ICE splitter cable. <laughs> There it went. So anyway, uh, no, I don't think it's the smoke, but you can get these. I think this is a four or six foot length. And then there's like three foot to each splitter. Uh, but yeah, uh, it makes it to where you can plug two lights side by side together and then do that. I need to get some more of these uh, for my, um, these are really nice. I need to get some more of these for the, um, the moving heads that I've got because I just need two of these and I would have all four of my moving heads. Um, yeah, so I need to get two more of these. Uh, very, very nice deal to have. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Kenta. Okay. It's on sound one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the lights and see here. Now it's not gonna be totally dark in here because it's just starting to get night outside. But I want you to see the difference to these lights. As you can see here, we've got the, uh, what do you call it going? I can turn this on maybe to an auto show. Uh, we have an auto show going on here just so you can see. I turned off of, and then that's the sensitivity. So I'm going to turn that down to 50. Okay, we are on auto instead of uh, what do you call it? Now, I, I think it's just running through a couple of these deals. It's only running through the uh, red and blue and green. Don't see it, so let's bump that up. Maybe that's not so much. There we go. Do that. There, we get all kinds of going really fast. Anyway, the Kenta is a very, very, very nice light. Uh, I enjoy using this light. This light actually is the center of my attention. I need to get one more of these. Um, what we're going to do is that we zoomed in there. We are going to. Set this here, and I'm going to shoot some fall. Well, as you can see, you're not getting much. You're getting light patterns. Like if I turn this around, so now <laughs> turn this around. As you can see, you can see the pattern on the wall here behind me. Uh, the cool stuff it's doing. Yeah, it looks cool. Lights are cool without without the stuff. And we can also probably turn this down to where she's not lightly moving so fast. That's the speed, I guess, that it moves. All right, so there we go. You can kind of see everything a little bit better. We're gonna go ahead and shoot uh, some, some smoke so you can see the difference. I know you've probably seen this in other videos, but I want you guys to see how much more having a small, this is a Chave. I think this is the Hurricane, yeah, this is the Hurricane 700, 30 bucks. Guys, come to the bracket. You can mount this on a truss. You can get two of these. This is not DMX, though. Comes with a remote. 
you might be able to ask Shawnee about a wireless remote. It's got probably 15 to 20 feet of cable, so you have a pretty good distance you can put this. And then when you hit it, instantly, just down here, kind of fogged up a little bit, you can see the light output now. And this is using the Shave, um the light stuff. But see how much more cooler that looks with fog? Now I'm going to point this up at the camera. Uh, so you can kind of see it, give them, we'll get some more fog going here. It's kind of dissipating. I've got the, yeah, but as you can see how it dissipates. The laser looks really good with smoke. Really, really good. Here we got another blast. Let's go ahead and blast it up a little bit. I'm going to kind of fog up the area again. This stuff here, as it gets warmer, it starts to haze a little bit longer. But you can see as I'm holding it up at the camera, how much more the smoke makes a light look and we're going to try a couple different lights just so you can see but the kenta looks really good really good with smoke because you can see the, the light beams coming out you can see how it looks really really awesome stuff there the laser looks really really good under fog really really good all right so now we have a wash light and i can see it but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. This right here does have a little, you might be able to see my hands moving through, but there is fog going through here. Fog will also work with any kind of wash light. I'm gonna kind of tip it towards you guys just so you can see we're gonna take this and we're gonna fog right on top of it to see if we can get some sort of beam light. And as you can tell, we do. Okay, so shoot it up, see the fog going through here. So see what kind of things the fog can do? It can do all kinds of stuff. That's just one pop of light. Here we can also change the pattern. If that helps me, you can see it's all red. All right, cool stuff. So uh, let's see if the camera's picking it up. Yeah, the camera's picking it up. Maybe not so much in the blue, but Definitely there you can see it, the beams of light coming up. So anyway, on to the next light. Okay, so we are off to the next one. We are going to show you, this is what I keep all my wash moving heads in. I've got some that don't have any um, feet or brackets on them right now. Get out of here. I just want to kind of show you how a moving head looks, a wash moving head looks the smoke. So again, there's my light deal. Make it easy, we're gonna plug it in. It's gonna fire up, it's gonna do its little thing. We're gonna turn the light off and we're gonna show you how it looks. We're going to put it on uh, a show mode. This is a slow mode. And we're going to shoot some smoke over it and around it. As you can see, Ceiling fan is blowing the smoke around more than normal. As you can see, the smoke does have an effect on it. Maybe not as much because it's, you know, a different kind of style of light. But you still get being of light. In a, in a big room and you got it all haze, this would look really good. So I have this back on my settings. We're gonna put it back on to 
fast, that is the fast mode. Remind myself here. Yeah. back on sound. So yeah, those work pretty good. Uh, those are mostly just to flood out a dance floor or an area. Uh, we've got all the cabling and stuff in here for everything. Another thing, keeping your equipment safe. Like I have padding in here that fits over all in between each unit. Um, and it just kind of protects stuff. So, zip it up. But yeah, it's uh, we got a couple more I want to show you, and uh, that'll be the end of this. I'll have a few other uh, words and I'll let you know a few other things. Okay, so I think this is going to be the last one. You can kind of get an idea of how anything's going to look. I'm actually going to have to hold this. I think I'm going to pull this one out. It looks like it's going to be the easiest to get out. Projector style lights. Gobos. Okay, I'm actually going to have to hold this like this, but you'll get the idea. We're going to go ahead. Get it plugged in here. Okay. Again, all most DJ lights take. And these do make noise. I'm actually going to flip it upside down. I'm going to turn the light off here. Now, as you can see, I don't even have to put any fog in here, and you can see. That beam of light that comes out. I'll give it just a quick blast here, just to make it a little thicker. As you can see, the beam of light and how it looks. Get it up in the area where more stuff is. You can see it higher. These moving heads, I will say, I've been having a lot of people that said they were debating on buying these, but we're not 100% uh, sure on them. Let me tell you guys, these lights are awesome. I actually am debating on getting two more of these or getting two other um, styled um, gobos but they're not gobos they're just a, a deal like i think two more of these would look great on t-bars but uh i haven't quite decided i've got some really cool stuff that uh, i'd like to get but uh we'll see what happens i think my setup right now is really good because in a big room these do really good the bigger the room you're in the brighter or the bigger the picture is so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and plug this guy. You can also hang him. Upside down. As you can see, if he'll turn around the way he's supposed to. Yeah, I always leave him kind of like that because I'll shoot the picture out a little better. And up on the walls and the ceilings and all that good stuff. But yeah, so anyway guys, um, that has been kind of a deal on how to make your lighting its best, um, how to protect your lighting. Y'all know bags are the best way. Um, o clamp, ADJ, five bucks a piece, man, like six bucks made with tax. Uh, if you order a bunch of them, they, they do get more expensive. We're gonna go ahead and unplug the fog machine. It's gonna have my smoking arms. Actually, that's another thing. Fog does not really set off smoke alarms. At least the fog I use does not. Slide down. This is actually made for the up lights, the battery operated up lights. But yeah, again, you guys want to get some of these cables so you don't have to use so many cables. It is a it has a regular house plug, so you can hook us to an extension cord on your truss. And then you have two ICE cables. 
They come out of here, you can power two lights off of this. So you could power one, run it over, catch another one, run this over, run it down your truss. Yeah, I've got two of these, I need to get two more because these, let me tell you guys, are cable savers. The less cable you have, the less time you have tearing down. Uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy this stuff. Um, I'm gonna lift the camera up a little bit, but yeah, there, well, if you, if you count, to the floor, they're maybe six foot from the end of this to the end of this. About six foot. So, really nice. Again, Chave Hurricane 700. We're gonna be looking at a hazer sometime. I uh, don't know when. Uh, I'm gonna be getting a hazer because this is nice for little shows. When you get a big show and you want fog and you don't wanna to have to worry about it, you can hook it up to DMX and you set your slider or hit a button. The way to go. But this is good for little parties, Halloween parties, just enough to fog it up for a video. Um, don't have any problems with it yet. Uh, run it like crazy. Uh, when you do run it a lot, it does intend to. Uh, oh, what you think? It's got a full tank on it. Yeah, it's pretty much full. Um, it, it does use quite a bit once you use it more and more and more and more. But once you get a room hazy like it is here, uh, you do not have to um, use it so often. The lighting will continue to. Now, if I turn on a fan, like I'm going to here, um, it will start to blow around. Another thing, if you have ceiling fans at a venue, ceiling fans will help blow the, set it to where it will suck. Like if it's in the winter time, obviously your fan's supposed to rotate a different way. It will help pull the smoke around and uh, Helps, helps distribute it over the room that you're doing. We um, had a DJ event over the weekend. Um, didn't really get a lot of people dancing, so didn't really take much video there. You've all seen the setup in the previous video. Um, so yeah, also gonna be having some stuff done to the internet here at the house. Um, I don't know, they're getting some stuff going, redoing some wiring or something, so internet may be up and down for me when I can upload, but I may do some stuff, quick videos on the phone uh, and throw up. Uh, I'm also going to be having my computer gone through and uh, maybe upgraded a little bit, give me some more speed, some more RAM. Uh, buddy of mine's gonna look through that for me and see what he can do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, and get your notification bells turned on so that you never miss anything here on the channel. Again, check these out. They're on Amazon. They might be on eBay. Not very expensive. Under $15, I think, unless the price has changed. Uh, Two-day shipping if you have Prime. Awesome stuff there. Anyway, guys, we're over 800 subscribers. We're 806 last time I checked. Again, thank you, each and every one of you. I also want to thank DJ Gohan for the huge, huge shout-out. Um, bro, keep up the good work. Um, Another thing I kind of want to throw out there is if you guys have any questions, don't feel, don't, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments of the video that you want to have a question about. Um, I have a lot of people commenting. I actually had a guy comment uh, just the other day. He said that he uh, was glad I made the videos. He uh, said that without, without the, without, you know, seeing this, he was hesitant on ordering these. And he's like, oh, I'm actually glad you made these because it may help me make my my decision. And that's what that's what my channel is all about. My channel is to help you guys uh, just see what's going on, have something to watch, be talented, watch my talent. Um, I, I love making these videos. Um, I don't post as much as some people do, but there's a lot of awesome other YouTubers out there that are better than me. But hey. Um, just because, I mean, they're not better, but they have a lot of better stuff. Uh, I'm working on it, okay. Uh, I did talk to uh, something. There's going to be a video come out either later on tonight or tomorrow or later on this week. Um, come here, Elsa. I think he wants to be in the video. Yeah. Um, about our, um, we're going to be a giveaway when we reach, at least I think there is. I talked to Andrew from Speed Tech Lights today. And uh, there's gonna be a video about a uh, possible giveaway uh, when we reach 1,000 subscribers. Are you excited, Elsa? Isn't that exciting? 
Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Get subscribed from me and Elsa and everyone here at the 343. Um, thanks for watching. Check out the awesome lights. Shave uh, has some new stuff coming out. I don't know if I'm gonna get any of that new stuff. Uh, we've got to see what they've got coming out, but new stuff coming out, new lights, new products, new all kinds of stuff. Been seeing it posted on their Facebook. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Love you all. Hope you're staying safe, and we'll see you in the next one. God bless.